The Educational Portal is a website that provides some courses and these courses contain projects that you can take uh, to the T-BioInfo platform and perform a project-based um, course or a lesson focused on a specific issue. So here's the platform. What you can see is I can log in. I can log in with one of my social media accounts. Now that I'm logged in, I get this welcome message and I can go to the two free courses that we are offering right now. This is uh, the first phase. So I can go over here, uh, go to the introduction. The introduction course covers some of the basics. As you can see, I've already started and provides you here with a curriculum and uh, lists out the different lessons that are available. One of the lessons we want to take a look at today is an overview of the T-BioInfo, a user-friendly visual solution for education and practical applications. This lesson uh, provides this uh, introductory video and the video covers some of the basics of the interface that you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this lesson. Now let's go over to the T-BioInfo platform itself. This is something that you can view here in the video, how it works, and we will actually use one of the transcriptomics courses uh, to um, go through an example project. So if I go over to the transcriptomics course, you will notice that it again will start with an overview. Uh, if we go through the curriculum, it starts with a pre-evaluation form. Uh, but the most important thing that a lot of users miss is you actually have to press on this button, take this course to start the lesson and be able to click through these lessons. I'm going to go ahead and take this course. I'll get an email notification that says that I enrolled into this course. Uh, you can see that my learning progress is set to zero. The pre-evaluation form really helps to evaluate the levels of students that take uh, this course. And I'm going to just uh, quickly fill this out um, so that you can see um, my experience. So my response has been recorded. Another important thing is to notice that there's a complete lesson button at the end of each lesson. I'm going to click that and what you will see is that now I will have this green icon that says that I've completed this course. So the introduction into next generation sequencing RNA-seq is going to start with this video. This video is a good example uh, of somebody that's been doing this for a long time and discusses some of the applications of next generation sequencing as well as some of the challenges in the machine learning uh, space. And the course is really focused on the different uh, types of applications, methodology, um, and an introduction into the transcriptome uh, as a part of a systems biology that we will um, learn hopefully as a part of these different courses offered on our educational uh, platform. So when we go into the biology of transcription, we're going to learn about what are we dealing with, what kind of data, where this data coming from, what are some of the elements of the RNA-seq process, and uh, why, how do we generate this data, essentially. Uh, a lot of times you will see these external links uh, for people to be able to learn additional uh, information about um, the sections that we didn't think were critical to a student trying to get to an actual uh, to an actual um, project. So this goes over a few sections um, related to um, what type of data this is and how it's generated and what are some of the other methods uh, to study the RNA expression. Uh, we'll also see uh, what types of outputs we are uh, generating. So you can see here uh, from bioinformatics perspective, we're starting to deal with the actual data type with the files that look like this with the reads. Um, and also some of the challenges about analyzing those raw reads. Uh, and so you can see that the next thing I will go to is the quiz. The quizzes uh, are fairly short um, and simple. Um, and you can uh, start the quiz 
and then you will be able to answer these questions. Uh, but let me speak, uh, skip over into um, an example, and uh, that way we'll be able to go over to the actual platform. So the example that we provide here is a project uh, that will have these different uh, samples, and we will use this uh, on the platform uh, to see uh, an example of a different differential expression um, pipeline. So if I click on this link right here, I will get over to a platform that looks like this, and this is my account. Um, as you can see over here, I'm going to select the transcriptomics section. So that is right here. I'm going to open this section. Again, I can uh, refresh uh, what the section does here. Now that I am here, um, let's just follow this step by step. So you can see that the first step is I'm going to upload some files um, and I'm going to define the type of data that I have. So let's just make sure that this is set up correctly. It's FASTQ files. I'm going to choose the, um, actually over here, you can read specifically our model genome GTF. Um, and for organism, we will choose human mouse because this project contains both human and mouse um, genomes. And this is a concatenated genome. Now, when I go to upload my files, um, you will note over here uh, a, a way to upload SVL files, which are just reference files for me to use uh, that reference to files that we already have on the server. Um, you can see over here that the file that was downloaded is this um, SVL file. What I will do is just remove this TXT extension Okay, and now I will go over here, and uh, right here I will do URL book upload, and just select my downloaded file. Okay, now I will click on this button, so you can see all of these files, and you can see here the explanation. So I will have to drag them um, from here to there. Now the problem that you will see that I did is I selected si uh, single instead of pair and reads. So let me reset this real quick. And instead of SC, I will select PE, human mouse. I will do this again, URL block upload. And what you will see is that now they are in pairs. Now, if you hover over, um, you'll be able to see the full file. You can see over here. And uh, now we are doing um, two groups, group A and group B. Okay, so what you can see is ER plus, triple negative, ER plus, triple negative, ER plus, triple negative. So what I'm gonna do is compare ER plus with triple negative, and the order doesn't really matter. Uh, ER plus goes in here, triple negative goes in here. Okay, triple negative, ER positive, and then once I am done, I will click on continue. And now I see this section. Now let's go back here and we'll see the list um, that I have here. These are the different groups, um, but also you can see now the pipeline to generate an expression table. We're going to start, and then you can see bow tie too. And then our sim expression table is highlighted, and then end.
I'm going to name this human mouse ER triple negative test and save and now I can run the pipeline okay and I can click on this run pipeline button right here and this is my pipeline so you can see that it started 1% and now what we will do is we'll just uh, show quickly here the My Pipeline section so you can see that this is a uh, processing, uh, so it's working right now. And uh, now we're going to start looking at the output files. What are the genes, isoforms, and exon expression tables?